Hey guys, it's DPS Xbox Gamer here, and here today I'm here to do a video just more or less uh, to discuss um, the games that I'm more or less trying to play over the summer and try to complete. Um, from the months between of June to September, there's nothing really that's interesting to me that's really coming out for me to purchase that um, that I really want, with the exception of a few games that came out in June. Um, but other than that, I have like a time span of the games that I actually want to play or games that are reasonable that I know for a fact I can complete within a couple months. Um, so I have a few games here, more or less just to show on games I'm trying to play because um, my backlog is huge. I know for a fact I can't play every game in my backlog, but I do want to show off the games that I do currently have um, or not the games I currently have, but the games that I I want to play to complete during the summer. Um, I do have, they're mostly PS4 and PS5 games. Um, I do have one Switch title. Um, I kind of want to start with that one. And that game first is going to be Persona 5 Strikers. Um, so I actually have the PS4 and the Switch version. I have both versions. But the reasoning why uh, I'm playing the Switch version, I'm trying to complete the Switch version, is because I have more time invested into the Switch version as opposed to the PS4 version. So, um, and because it's handheld, I have more freedom for me to complete this one. Um, been playing more of this at work whenever I have the chance. Um, and it's a fun game. So, you know, if you guys, you know, are into Persona, Persona 5 Strikers is a good game, so I do recommend it. Um, but this is definitely a game that I am trying to complete. Um, the game is not too long, about like 30 hours. So this game is actually going to be one of the, the, quicker ones I complete because I'm actually playing this at work as well on my on my like my lunch breaks and free time so this is a little bit easier to complete um but yeah persona 5 strikers for the switch next game here is kind of a little weird on how I can place it for like a completion in a sense uh because it's a roguelike so their completions aren't really that long um but that game is the binding of isaac uh afterbirth plus um yeah because a normal run if you complete it takes roughly about 30 to 40 minutes on a good run um my goal is to try to do at least five successful runs to really com count it as a completion um this game besides it being on the ps4 i've also been playing it on the vita because of a cross save so this is kind of like on a similar boat as um persona 5 strikers record player i'm able to play this at work um but i have been enjoying it for the little bit that i have played on my vita i haven't really played much of it i've gotten into like 10 minutes into a single run and got destroyed um but i do want to complete at least five successful runs and i'm pretty sure i can do it so that's why it's on the list for like games i'm trying to complete over the summer um, and if you're into roguelike games, this is a perfect game to really start with, especially if you like the 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 Bible references and also the um, the dark story to it, because it's actually a very interesting game. But um, yeah, The Binding of Isaac. Uh, the next few, the two next two PS4 games, um, they're RPGs, um, and you know how RPGs are. They're normally relatively long depending on how much time you have and i do have a few of them in here but um i do have one in particular uh that i do want to discuss but this one is not as bad as compared to all uh, one about the show after this one um and that is near replicant um i completed near automata got the platinum for it so i i just want to complete near replicant because i really don't have much time as i used to um and the game is fun so far i just want to at least get at least the five ma the five major endings even then i feel like that's kind of a stretch so i just want to at least get the the a and b um endings um but yeah near replicate fun game but this game because there's so many endings it makes it a little bit more difficult to kind of place on what really counts as a completion so i just want to get just the a and b endings because i feel like those are like the two you know the two endings that everyone should at least have in a sense if you got unless you're going for like a full true ending run but definitely the a and b endings i do want to at least get um but yeah near replicant this game i've actually been putting a lot of time into since it came out 
um, actually, I don't want to say a lot of time, but enough time. Uh, I've been playing it normally uh, at least an hour or two every time I came home from work. Um, and that game is Shimagami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remastered. Um, the game is fun. have been enjoying it, but this game in itself is about like 50 to 60 hours if you're taking your time. Um, 35 if you're kind of rushing it, but I'm actually trying to like explore, do a lot of side quests in the game. So this game is taking a lot of time. I've only invest. uh, I think currently I have about, I think like 16, 17 hours in the game. Um, and I feel like I've gotten decent, decent into the story, but, um, this game is because again, an RPG take a lot of your time. But it's still, I feel like this game is still reasonable where it's in my reach where I can complete this over the next couple months over the summer. So that's the reason why I have this on this list. And also, I've been really enjoying it. Um, but yeah, Shin Megami Tensei 3, Shin Megami Tensei 3, Nocturne. Now, moving on to the the PS5 games. I do want to start with this one. So, start with Godfall. Um... Godfall is nothing crazy. It's just a, uh, not really an MMO. How can I describe it? Like a looter, like a looter shooter, looter slasher style game. Um, I'm not really heavily into the multiplayer, but I just want to complete the story. The story is only about 10 hours long, so it's nothing crazy. Um, I've only made it to like the second area. So, I've, you know, a part, you know, portion of way into the game and i had this game since the game launched and i haven't touched it well haven't put much time into it but i just want to complete it so i know this is one of the games that's more like more attainable for me to complete so that's the reason why i have this on this list and this game also just got announced for the ps4 that's how you know uh this game is doing relatively mediocre if it has to be re has to be released on last gen consoles when it was mainly supposed to be a next gen exclusive um me personally um uh, i have been enjoying the game it's not that the game is bad um but i can see why it's not appealing to a lot of people but me personally i have been enjoying it but um yeah godfall all right this game i just want to show it off marvel's avengers for the ps5 had the ps4 version well digitally anyway and I didn't get too far into it. I have been enjoying the campaign, but I literally put the game down because one, the PS5 at the time was launching. So I was like, I'm going to wait for that PS5 upgrade before I actually like finish off the game. Um, PS5 version got delayed, um, but now the PS5 version is out. So I picked it up and I'm not in, again, same thing, kind of similar to Godfall where I'm not really here to play the multiplayer for the game, but I do really do want to play the campaign the campaign is actually really enjoyable um and i you know and i have enjoyed it but i definitely know for a fact i can complete this game the game the single player campaign is not even that long i believe it's like 12 to 15 hours so it's not long um so it's definitely something i could finish within the summer um but uh from what it is from what i've played it's you know avengers it's it's fun again unless you want to get screwed over with the multiplayer the multiplayer, I feel, is like the huge downfall of this game, and reasonably so, because Square Enix has been like f basically fumbling this game hard. But um, but if you're getting this game just for the for like the campaign, then it's definitely worth it, because for what I've played, it, it it's it's a good it's a good story. But um, yeah, Marvel's Avengers. This game, the reason why this is on my list, because the sequel just recently got announced and the sequel comes out in September. And that's actually one of the games I already have pre-ordered. I'm buying it, um, but I have to finish the first game before I even move on to that. And that game is Judgment. Um, Judgment, <laughs> so it's fun. I uh, only invested about two hours into the game. Haven't really gotten far into it, but I put the game down literally to play like, uh, I think I was playing Shimogami Tensei before, you know, you know, all that. But I re but literally right when I put it down, Lost Judgment got announced. I'm like, dude, I really got to pick this game up and it's not the game and the game is really fun. But now I have more of a reason to actually finish it. And my wife has actually been watching me, you know, play Judgment and she's enjoying the game as well. But um, I am definitely going to finish this Lost Judgment coming out September. So want to prepare myself for it. But um, yeah, Judgment.
PS5. This actually, let me, yeah, we talk about this one. So this game just recently came out. Came out, I believe, on Tuesday, and I'm a huge, not really say a huge fan. I used to be a huge fan, you know, back in my old teenager slash high school days. Um, the series has kind of fell off for me because one, I kind of grew out of it. Um, two, I the appeal isn't there for me anymore, but. The reason why I got this one because it's kind of reminiscing, kind of a reminiscence of when the game originally launched on the PS3, and I really enjoyed it, even though the game aged terribly. So the game kind of needed this, um, and even then, it's a remake of a remake. But I have been playing it. I have been enjoying it, um, especially with all the extra things that they thrown into it, um, and that is Neptunia Reverse. Um, game is fun. Again, no complaints. I've personally been enjoying it. Um, not a huge, like, not huge fan of the series anymore. Like I mentioned, I grew out of it. But again, it's an RPG, so it is taking a little bit of my time. But it's not, but it's one of more of the shorter end RPGs. Um, I do know, I think, like, to complete, like, the story, the actual story takes roughly about 25 to 30 hours if, if you have everything completely set up. Um, or if you don't have, a, like, if you're not struggling with it. 25 to 30 hours is normally like that average spot to fully like like full completionist then it takes upwards to 50 hours but even then it's not that bad uh compared to most rpgs but um it's more on the shorter side so that's the reason why that this is on my list for trying to complete it over the summer and again been enjoying it so that's the best part about it um but yeah neptunia reverse The reasoning why this is on my list is because of one I've been wanting to play for the longest time, so it's the main reason why I got it. Um, but I just haven't really had the time to actually sit down to to put time into it. But literally, all my friends in my current group chat they've they've been playing this game, and they're all talking about it, and they're all enjoying it. And I'm the the one guy sitting in the chat like I kind of need to like play this game. And the game is really is again not that difficult. Um, I just need to make time for it, but I do want to play it over the summer because now I really have more of a time to do it. Um, and that is Yakuza Like a Dragon. Granted, the game is still sealed, but that's not going to last long. Um, but yeah, all my friends have been literally have been playing this game, and they all have been enjoying it. They're like, dude, like you have to play it. Why haven't you played it yet? And reasoning for it, I just basically been playing everything else, but this is definitely something i do want to complete over the summer um so that's the reason why it's on this list and literally uh three of my friends as we speak they're playing it now in the group chat and i think two of them just finished and one they're like i believe like chapter 15 chapter 16 so they're getting relatively close to the end but i want to start it and and it, again it's caught my attention before so that's the main reason why i got it but um yeah yakuza like a dragon and this game here, I do have one more game after this, but I don't have the physical copy for it. Um, but before I get into that, this, just to show it, Final Fantasy VII, uh, Inter uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. Um, I already complete the original Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, it was a fun game, things like that. The reason why I got the physical PS, the physical PS5 version is one not so much to how could i say this not to really replay the game but i really got it just to play the yuffie dlc and just to see, see more of the differences here and there for like the actual story um but it's not something i'm like replay through again i literally just got it just for the yuffie dlc and i just wanted to have something another physical game in my collection for the ps5 so this is something i could definitely complete because the yuffie dlc is not even that long i believe is like between like six to seven hours so it's really not that long and maybe some of the side quests for her um so that's the only reason why this is on this list because i could definitely complete that within a couple sittings um i just want to throw that out there but um yeah final fantasy 7 remake integrate and the last game that's on this list i just don't have it fit i just don't have it with me right now and that game is just ratchet and clank a rift apart um there's only so much I can say about Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank in itself is fun, but the game is also relatively not that long, only like 
15 to seven, 15 to 16 hours. 17 hours was like that sweet spot. And the game is really not that long, but the game is also fun. So I could literally, same thing, complete that game in literally a couple sittings. But it's the RPGs that's really going to take my time over the summer. But, um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you the games that I'm really going to be focusing on over the summer. Um, hopefully I can complete all these by September. And, um, pretty sure I can do it. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, comment down below on what games that you guys are trying to complete over the summer. Or if you guys even have a backlog of what games you're trying to complete out of your backlog. But, um... Yeah, comment down below on what you guys are trying to play over the summer. But yeah, guys, this is the PS Xbox Gamer here signing out, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.